My answer to very specifically in terms of lung and COVID, as far as the uh, diet is concerned, and uh, I think this is now quite prevalent in terms of a low carb diet or certainly low calorie diet uh, that is largely from proteins and carbohydrates. So if there, there is a measure in our body called respiratory quotient. That is the amount of carbon dioxide that is produced for the amount of oxygen that is consumed. So if you largely consume carbohydrate, then this respiratory quotient is equal to one, which means that you are actually increasing the carbon dioxide production in your body, say compared to a uh, more favorable diet, with, which is high in protein and fat, because that produce, tends to produce on the whole much less carbon dioxide. Now, usually as your lung is recovering, even if your oxygenation is adequate, the clearance of carbon dioxide takes some time to happen. And this is um, because the muscles of the body take a while to get better. So at that time, since your carbon dioxide elimination by your lungs is fixed, it makes sense to limit the amount of carbon dioxide produced. So overall, I think it's logical to say that a low, cal a low carb, high protein, uh, or a high uh, fat diet may be more favorable. As far as the exercise part is concerned, I think most of the deep breathing exercises, use of spirometry, pranayama, all of that definitely helps to increase uh, the main thing, which is the compliance of the lung. So much like muscles elsewhere in the body, the uh, muscles that help you breathe, which is the muscles of your chest, the neck, and of course the diaphragm, all of them are muscles like anywhere else, and they have to be retrained. We've been very sick in hospitals then usually these muscles all take a hit. There is a, a condition called critical illness myopathy. And we see this in a lot of patients who come off ECMO. So right now with the second wave of 15 or 16 patients, we've treated, we've had about two patients go home in the last week, and we have about two more coming off the ECMO. The main issue is muscle weakness. And uh, so to address this, just like we would train for any other part of the body, you need to train these muscles back to where they were. And so uh, deep breathing exercises, as well as general cardiovascular exercises like walking, uh, cycling and everything, all of them definitely helps.